Why would you leave me all alone to fight for a sport? I only wish for us to walk around and show the magic that our hearts behold. Why would you leave me all alone to fight for a It's your girl Kateria and you are on Exposed TV and today I have someone phenomenal. She's amazing. Andrea Charles. Did I say that right? You said yeah. it wrong again. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? So you're exposing me. <laughs> <laughs> She's exposing me. It's so Andrea. Andrea. Andrea Charles. <laughs> Songwriter, singer. She's amazing. Let's get to it. So, explain to us what type of music you write and what type of music do you do? Uh, I mainly do pop. Mm -hmm. Pop music. Nice. Yeah. What, and when did you start doing pop? Have you always done pop? Um, actually, no. Um, when I was back in Cyprus, my early okay. music uh, stages, I was a rock, a rock girl. Rock? Yes, and I had a band and I was performing rock music. Guns and Roses, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I did more um, Greek traditional music. Uh, and what is that? Like, what are the tunes? Like, is it fast, uh, it's, slow? It's not, yeah, you can say there's some slow stuff, there's some um, fast stuff. The rhythms are polyrhythms in 7 8 or 9 8. Uh, and yeah, and then um, I always had a passion for pop music. I wanted to be a pop star. Did you want to be Katrina Aguilera? Yeah? <laughs> I I wanted to be a, like Britney Spears, Britney Spears back in the day. Back in the day. She was in the toxic. Yeah. Um, that, yeah. Um, but I was never a Christina Aguilera person. Yeah. So would you, so you started in Cyprus singing how old? Um, nine. 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 So is it nine that you started serious or nine you just, you know, started singing, it was when writing I, here and there? Around eight, nine, I discovered, the teachers at school discovered that I could sing. So they would put me as a soloist for, you know, uh, celebrations, school celebrations. Mm -hmm. and, and then I was like, okay, I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Did it ever make you nervous? Oh, yeah. Or, of course. So what's that nervous, how does that nervous feeling feel? I don't know, it's like you have frogs in your stomach uh -huh. and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. And then, but do you do it at the end? Of course, yeah. How do you get over As, uh, as long as I get on the stage and it's like, okay, it's happening, it goes away. It goes but away. But before, oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> it's, it's the worst. <laughs> Boston, because you come from Cyprus. Yes. Cyprus, right. sorry. And you're in Boston. It's a long way. I was came... it your passion or was it for something else? It was always my passion. I wanted to move to the United States to uh, establish a music career. And um, I was 18 years old when I applied for Berkeley College of Music and I got accepted. And Were that was you, my ticket. That was your ticket? Yes, that was my ticket. How did you feel at that moment? Oh my God. <laughs> was, that must have been amazing. a huge accomplishment, yeah, it was, right? It was, it was amazing, yeah. What was the process? Um, I had to go to, to Athens for an audition and I had to perform a couple of songs and then there was some ear training tests and harmony, a written test. Oh and wow. Then, yeah, so that was it. Were you nervous? I, I was, was yeah. nervous, like, oh my of god, course. if I just go off of one <laughs> string or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after, so are you still enrolled in Berkeley or have you I graduated? I actually graduated <gasps> in 2013. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I know it's 2013, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> yes. And from there, have you been writing music? Have you been traveling? Like what what 
what what been your move? Ever since? Uh, after I graduated, that's when I really got into songwriting, mm -hmm. and um, I stayed in Boston until now. I'm still in Boston and planning to move to LA eventually. Oh my god! Okay, so LA. Why LA? Okay, I got like multiple <laughs> questions. Why LA? How does LA make you feel when it comes to music? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you'll be happier in LA and not Boston? Um, this is uh, how, why LA. That's a big move. Okay. Oh, that's a big move from here. So. Uh, LA. LA. <laughs> is it? Is it because it's hot all the time? It, it, it's like home. It's it just the same as home. You know, the weather is beautiful, and of course, sun makes you happier, yeah. and you are always in the mood to do stuff. Uh, versus Boston, who in the winter you are depressed. Fat and want to eat all the of time. Of course, you want to eat all the time, you're depressed, you stay home because it's cold. Mm -hmm. um, and also, there's, I, I feel like Boston, yes, it, it did serve its purpose yeah. for as long as I mm -hmm. stayed here. But I feel like um, I need to move, move So was on. this like kind of like a training basis? It was a, a training, not, not only as a musician, as a person as well. I feel like I grew a lot. And um, most of my music it comes from experiences that I had in Boston. And, you know, heartbreaks, um, being sad, away from family, away from home. Um, Does that make you want to write more? Or, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, would you say then the then the winter is a little is good because you get to write? Or? Yeah, and, and yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what? So you mainly write about heartbreaks, family, being depressed, <laughs> um, not liking the world. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh yeah. So what? What is one of your favorite songs? And when did you write this song? Um. Hmm. My favorite song is the my upcoming song, which is coming out very soon. Can we can we have a name of it? It's or? called Island Boy. Ooh, Island, Island Boy. Boy. Yeah. So <laughs> so where did the Island Boy the title came and what were you thinking when you were writing that song, Island Boy? I like. Well, that. obviously I was thinking about that Island Boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I like it. She's spicy. <laughs> so yes. But yeah, so it's what are about the... a hot island boy? Yeah. So is it like a fast-paced song or slow? It's is a, it romantic? It's a fast-paced oh. song. Um, it kind of has like a Caribbean vibe. Mm -hmm. oh, and yes. uh, that's what I actually love about your music. I mean, I've I've heard a, very, a variety of music uh, of your music, and it has like this island touch feel very bringing like you know welcoming and is that something that you always want to stick to yes because that's my how do you say it uh, my heritage yeah heritage mm -hmm. uh, i already know where the sunshine go when the sunshine go would you ever change for that because um, like you're going to la that's top yeah. notch you know i don't you get into the industry and you, they start telling you that, you know, maybe you should do this or that or this. Like, what is something that you would limit yourself and say, no, I'm not going to do this because this is kind of like more of it. Hold on. If, if it's something that really makes me feel uncomfortable and it's not myself, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Um, but I, I believe that um, we have a say in Cyprus and we say, the, the tail of the dog doesn't change, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I've, I'm a Cypriot girl, you know? Yeah. And I'm gonna try to um, blend pop music with my Cypriot heritage as much as possible so I can show uh, the world, you know? Because yeah, like there's a lot of pop singers out there. They do the same thing. What makes me unique is that I am from a different place, you know? And I could blend those two things, and that's my identity. So why I, I wouldn't get rid of that. I love it. I love it. You see, she stayed true to herself. You know what I mean? She's not gonna get this industry thing mixed up and change her. No, because you know, 
uh, it, it's kind of difficult be, in, in just talking to, um, you know, past, uh, past uh, people in the, from the past that, you know, uh, not from the past, but recently. But, you know, they've been like, hey, I, I started off this way and now I ended up this way because mm-hmm. of the industry or whatever it is. But that's great, great that you're going to stick to who you are. Yeah, mm-hmm. like these new songs that I'm coming up with, it's the first time that I'm doing... Um, something that sounds more Caribbean and it's faster than the previous songs so, so that's perfect so yeah. you're touching it more into the island you touch well, yeah. well you already have a more and island. I'm also gonna have a rapper on it so <gasps> I've never done I've never had any anything so that's like totally that new. So, yeah <laughs> so um how how's that process going are you guys collaborating well yeah it's it's going great and I'm so excited for it to come out for everybody to hear it so do you, can we do you know when it's going to come out I can't little, tell you just yes see, this is this is the part where like <laughs> oh but you know what when she does come out with it I'll, you better believe that we'll be the first one that we're going to have it right oh, yeah, yeah? Mm-hmm. Expose is going to have it or we're going to expose, expose that Expose is going to have it <laughs> so we've been talking about LA and a bunch of things um is there would you come back to boston if la does not work out i thought about it and yeah. um yeah. yeah yeah boston has been my home for oh. eight years so yeah. and it's home it's yeah. giving opportunity to uh local artists that nobody knows about and we are having an opportunity to speak and show our art and our music to the world. So thank you so much for hearing about having us here. Yeah. Have, and, has any, any obstacles? Oh, a come lot. About? A so lot. T- so tell me about those. Is that we... the time that I'm being exposed? Yeah, this is a, this is a time <laughs> when it goes down. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let me give you some bread. Let me give you some bread, all right? <laughs> no, like, I mean, I, I just feel like you know sometimes not that you're going to give up on your passion but you kind of doubt it Mm -hmm. and you just start thinking about all these negative things and maybe should I change this should I change that it's pretty clear that you're not going to change you're going to stay to your true self what has kept you staying to your true self and kind of like no I'm not going to do anything different my music is my music I don't care if I didn't get as much likes or I got many likes or whatever it is what is some obstacles that made you stronger i guess well they i i've been through a lot of obstacles Mm -hmm. especially Mm -hmm. after graduating um because you know once you when when you're in school everybody is it it's it's a little bubble you know school is is it's a bubble yeah (laughs) a little village that everything is so nice and happy and you're having gigs here and gigs there and you're performing with this person and this famous person came, so you're performing with them because you're in an ensemble or something. So you feel great, oh, I'm doing well, you know? Mm. But then you get out of school and that's when real life hits you, you know? You have to survive, you have to make your own money in order for, um, to keep producing music because if you don't, do it yourself Mm. then you have to work with producers and other musicians Mm -hmm. and obviously you you need to cover the expenses and 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 then you have the part that you need to survive and leave pay rent eat so i've been through all of them all Mm -hmm. of them and i've I've doubted myself many times you know what brings you back up my family my friends Aww. And you know, deep down, I I know that's what I can do best, you know. So, so it's just that piece in your heart, going back to when you're nine, eight. Was it eight years old when you started? No, mm. sorry, nine. Yeah. Going back, that that is like the fiery burn. Like, oh, yeah. I've done this for so long. This is what I know how to do. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, going all of those things are just things that really put a stomp because mm-hmm. like you said you got to pay for the producers you got to pay for studio time i mean all of this stuff and you, you come through it though you're good yeah. you're thinking about moving to la yeah so that's yeah. wonderful 
So what do you, besides your new track, your new single coming out soon, is there anything that you're thinking about or in the works? I mean, any performances? Actually, gonna be performing in LA. And that's why she's doing it. That's why, because <laughs> she's like, I'm gonna kill the performance, and that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a show in LA. That's exciting. Oh, yes, it's my first one, so your first. It's pretty, pretty exciting. Picture yourself in five years. In five years. <laughs> in five years. Yeah. Anything. It can be, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be a superstar. Yes! Yeah. Right there. She's gonna be a superstar because you know what? She came from Cyprus <laughs> to Boston, one of the best music schools, Berkeley School of Music. She's hustling through these obstacles she has a great supportive team behind you and you keep doing what you love so why wouldn't you be of course right oh yeah why wouldn't you be what is who is someone in the industry that that you would love to meet and do a duo with them hmm. drake drake right there that's your girl that's your girl <laughs> she's about to come with this Tropical joint with a rapper, and she's never done that before. So she's gonna show you what she can do. So hit her up, right? <laughs> Drake, you know, Drake is like all romantic and everything. And yeah, oh my god, he's really sexy. Yeah, that's definitely. I like Drake. So, um, so we got Drake. She's gonna meet Drake. Um, what else, um, do you incorporate in your performances besides singing? Do you do any dancing? Any drawing? Yeah. Do you pick your nose? I always do that. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta ask. 
something in there. Like, we got to know something besides that. So, this is amazing. We, You have a lot of things going on. Um, but I first want to say thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for having me. You know, I, I love your drive, your presence. Um, you're definitely going to go far with it. Um, this is one thing you have to know, guys. You know, we're here in the community. We're trying to spread the love. And everyone might say they're an artist or whatever it is. But here on Exposed, we're, we're not to expose the show, to expose the artist. And you have Andrea Charles here. Andrea Charles here. I thought you said it wrong. Did I say it wrong again? It's fine. You, you got these. Sorry. You got these. I got Axel so, on the A. Andrea. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, like, I'm <laughs> thinking about and I don't know why. I'm thinking about the R that's in the name. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking about. But she has a lot of amazing things coming up. Please tell us, where can we find you? Where can we stalk you? I'm just kidding. Where can we find you? Where can your fans find you? Because I know that you have, um, you know, not only fans in Boston, but everywhere. Because like she said, she's performed in other states. So, so you could see. stalk me on Facebook and on Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, under Charles, no, A Charles Music. Um, you can find me on Spotify, uh, under Charles. All my music will be on that. Also, you can find me on YouTube. I do some uh, covers. Oh, amazing! As well. So I have a YouTube channel, and uh, yes. yeah, like that's it. SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Yeah. She's in Boston, rock, walking around sometimes. Look at her face. Yeah, you make yourself find familiar. Me on Fenway, by Fenway, or around Berkeley. Yeah, and say you hello. Say hi. <laughs> and definitely go to her events. I mean, I know she mentioned in LA, but um, listen, there's live Facebook now. There's all these oh, yeah. video stuff that you can catch her, um, support her, whatever you need to do to make you happy because you know you love pop music you know you love her music i love her music we were gonna play it actually (laughs) but um i didn't say that she ain't shy no it you know (laughs) that's where the explosion (laughs) come but no like i said you gotta get to her um like she's very friendly as you may see and she has a lot to give a lot of beautiful music check her out we're gonna have all of that on our website and there you got it you're here on exposed tv with your girl kateria and andrea charles andrea charles (laughs) 